Hello, my name is Michael Soliard with Smart PTT, and today I'm going to be demonstrating some of the capabilities of our Voice and Data web client. The Voice and Data web client enables you to access your radio system and monitor radios through a uh, PC's web browser, uh, such as Chrome. Uh, this enables you to basically access the system from anywhere. As long as it has access uh, through the network, you could not be at your PC, bring up the system, or you could even be at home and be able to dispatch from home using this web client. Uh, one point to note is the web client is a scaled down version of our regular dispatch client. So if you need the full um, suite of features that SmartPTT offers, you would still want to use the dis dispatch client. The web client is going to give you a number of features, though, uh, that are very beneficial to most dispatchers. Um, as you can see here on my screen, I have the custom console created. Uh, there are three main screens that you can have in the dispatch or the web client. Uh, this one here, if you go to the very upper right, you can see the icon I'm hovering over says custom console. Uh, that's the screen that you see now. If I go to the icon right above it, it says map. If I click on that, it's going to switch it to the GPS map. And then if I go to the one up above it, it says event log. And that's going to just give you a brief rundown of what has occurred uh, during the session. I'm going to come back here to the custom console. So with the custom console, you have the ability to set up the interface uh, to some degree. If I come to this uh, pencil icon, edit custom console, click on that, I now have the ability to add, remove, and edit these items. So for example, I can just click here on M&O, maintenance and operations, click the X, it goes away. But Oops, I need to bring that back. I can come here to the plus icon, click on that, click on the channels, the control stations, the talk groups, and then I have the choice to bring maintenance and operations back. And I can also add in transportation. Go ahead, add those. Now maybe I wanna highlight these in a different color. I can choose to make m and let's make it this blue color, and then I can do transportation. Uh, let's do it in a kind of a yellow color. So now when I'm done, I'm just going to come up here, uh, hit OK. Now there are other items that you can do here. You can change the font size. Maybe if I want to reduce that to 14 instead of 16, I'll go ahead and set that back. And once I'm done, I can hit OK. I also have the ability to create split screen views. So if I want, for example, the top to be GPS, the bottom to be the custom console, I'm going to come to the bottom right where I have the settings icon, click on that, and I'm going to click on interface settings. Here I could choose to split it, uh, you know, do a split screen vertical, or I could do a split screen horizontal. Can define which items I want to have available to me in each of those upper and lower areas, and then I'll hit OK. Now I'm going to set my custom console down at the bottom. I'll do my GPS up here at the top. And you can see my radio's highlighted location currently. If I want to click to talk to security, I simply just click on that icon, and then I'll be able to communicate to that talk group. Now, likewise, with these talk groups, I also have the ability over here on the left-hand side to be able to mute 
different talk groups. So if I don't want to listen to security and maintenance and operations, and I only want to focus on transportation, I can go ahead and mute those other talk groups and just pay attention to transportation. If I want to listen to those, simply just click on that icon again, and now I'm going to be able to hear them. Now I can also just key up and talk to an individual radio. So if I click on Michael Suliard, it keys up and I'm talking to that radio. I do have a couple of functionalities available when you go to the this triple um, dot uh, icon, gives you the ability to edit the name, gives you the ability to find that radio on a map, to request a location update, to send a text message. So I can click here and just send hello. And that's gone ahead and that has sent a text message to my radio. I also have the ability to do a radio check, which is just going to ping the radio out over the system. I have the ability to do a radio block, and now my radio is now dead. Then I can come back here to re-enable the radio. And then it's going to go through its power-up sequence. One additional function in the web client is the ability to create cross patches and enable and disable them. Uh, I only have one audio source, so I actually won't be able to create a cross patch. Uh, but you'll be given a list of the available talk groups to create a cross patch from. In this case, let's say I wanted security and administration. Uh, I would just double click on security and you see it adds it over on the right. Now, if I had another uh, control station or if I was connected to like a capacity plus system where I had more talk paths available, I would then be able to double click on admin and add admin. I would be able to create a name, say security admin. And once both were in there, I would then have the ability to click OK to save that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cancel that since I wouldn't be able to save that. So again, very simple, easy to configure user interface with the web client. Um, Simply, you want to talk to them, you just key up, and you talk. When somebody transmits, see that that talk group is receiving in green. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this uh, brief introduction to the voice and data web client. If you do have more questions on the web client, please feel free to email us at sales at smartptt.com, and we would be happy to answer any of those questions for you. Thank you very much.